Hello, everybody. Bad Wolf here with another quick video on the Witcher 3 modding. Today, I'm going to be discussing how to install the uh, Witcher script merger and the Witcher 3 mod merger. Uh, while I'm going to be doing in depth videos on both the mod merger and the script merger, right now I need to go ahead and do a video on how to install both files. They have to both manually be installed, and it's really simple. Um, but I need to do these videos first before I continue on with uh, my next video, which would be manually installing of certain mods that have to be installed first before you install other mods into the game. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and we are going to uh, install uh, the script merger and we also have to install the script merger on official patch as well uh, which you will be able to find uh, uh, on the nexus uh, i'm sorry that i do not have the nexus screen up right now uh, because i have it set up ready to go for my next video on manually installing of uh, the mods that I mentioned that have to be installed first. Um, so I will throw a link down at the bottom uh, below the video to show uh, where to get the script merger um, file, where to get the script merger unofficial patch and the uh, mod merger, which mod merger is the texture merger. If uh, you recall, me talking about briefly okay so anyway so after you uh, download the script merger and uh, send it to a folder to, to a folder i normally put it in a folder like uh, manually install mods or uh, uh, the witcher 3 tools uh, either way it goes you should probably have it separated from the normal mod so that way you can access it quicker. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up the script merger and you have to copy all of these and put them into the base games folder, main folder. And I should have mentioned this before I did that, but um, it, it would be wise to go ahead and make copies of the bin folder, content folder, and tools folder, and zip them in either 7-zip or WinRare, so that way you have a backup copy of uh, those folders. You can even select all three of them uh, right from here and go ahead and you can add them to like uh, the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt uh, game of the year because I have the GOG version. Um, or you can add it to archive and name it whatever you want and then move it out of the game. You need to move it. Make sure you move it out of the games folder. Okay, so while I was talking about making a backup, the uh, script merger had already transferred everything over into the base games folder. Uh, see, you see right there, there's the exe, uh, there's the config, um, XML configuration for the script merger, and then there is a, a programming debug um, file. Um, so after that one, we need to go ahead and do the unofficial patch. And so I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And again, I'm going to copy, I'm going to uh, highlight all three and move them over into the base bank game. And then after it transfers over and then starts uh, moving, it's going to ask to uh, that about the same, about the files being the same. What you're going to do is you're going to overwrite uh, but not keep both. You don't want to keep both files. You, you need to overwrite uh, or replace, as it says here. 
And when you click on replace files and destinations, it's going to finish up. And then there you go. You have uh, the Witcher 3 script merger loaded into the game, um, into the folder uh, to be able to use uh, when I do that video, which uh, is still probably another four videos away. I know I wasn't going to create that many videos, but as, as I kept going along farther, I kept remembering on how many things that I had issues with. And it's like, man, I need to make an, another video. I need to add on another video to, to help people. My goal is, is trying to make it easy as possible for you to look, mod The Witcher 3. And when I'm able to give my knowledge of what I've learned over the past, uh, I say five years because I got, I got the, uh, PC Steam version, I do believe in 2016. I don't think it was, I, I know it wasn't late 2015. Uh, it was more like late 2016. So yeah, around this time in 2016 is when I started, uh, playing, uh, The Witcher 3 on my desktop. And then I started modding The Witcher 3, and I discovered, I, n I never knew about the Nexus until late 2016. Um, and it was from a video I saw on YouTube, and it was by Gopher. Uh, hopefully all of you un know who Gopher is. He's uh, an outstanding and wonderful person that explains how to mod certain games and some of his favorite games uh, like The Witcher 3, Fallout 4, uh, Skyrim. Uh, I do believe he, I haven't seen him, but I'm, I'm sure he has stuff for modding uh, Oblivion as well and, and Fallout 3 and uh, Fallout New Vegas. I'm sure he has all of those videos. Uh, but he is, in my opinion, he is the one to go to when you want to know how to mod certain games. Um, because uh, how he explains everything is, is very easy to understand. And very easy to follow along though i don't think he has has gone in depth like i'm going to do like i have been trying to do uh on modding the witcher 3 uh because it's, it's changed quite a bit since uh he was modding the witcher 3 six years ago in 2015. uh i don't know i haven't checked his 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 uh, YouTube channel to see if he's had any updates or if he's done anything more. But uh, that's why I'm here and that's why I'm doing these videos just in case he hasn't because I haven't seen anybody else do these type of videos or anybody else uh, go in depth like I will with the script merger. The script merger is the... Uh, I'm not trying to scare you away is the hardest script is the hardest uh, thing to do because if it doesn't automatically merge the scripts, then you have to manually merge the scripts. And that's where it gets, a, can get a little confusing, can be a little difficult. So I will, am going to make it, 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 it will be a long video and I will, try my best to already have it scripted out before I create the video. So that way I avoid rambling because I need to give you as much information as I can quickly, clearly, and without any ramblings. 
Speaking of ramblings, I've gone on long enough. I said this was going to be a short one, and, well, so far it has not been. So now I'm going to go ahead and click back, and now we're going to install the uh, mod merger, which is uh, merging the texture files. This one, when you open up, it's only, you know, looking for, uh, uh, you're only moving one file, and it's the executable file, and it's, as well is going into the uh, base uh, game folder. Now, what I will say is go ahead and after you have both of those in there, right click on both of them and send them to the desktop to create a shortcut on both. So that way you uh, uh, have an easy access to it because it'll be all already on your desktop. And with that, I am done with this video. Uh, done with uh, showing you how to transfer over the files into the game uh, folder. Thank you for watching. And as always, uh, I am going to do my best to make you well informed on how to mod the witcher 3 in 2021 slash 2022 because i probably won't be done with my videos until the beginning of 2022.